Good morning. Appreciate everybody being here. Just uh, going to follow up um, from the weekend. Just uh, continue to uh, have the same tone, emphasis. Um, very disappointed uh, with the performance. Not happy at all. Uh, it's my responsibility to get our guys ready and uh, turn the ball over six times. Uh, it's a formula for disaster no matter who you play. Put our defense in some tough spots. Didn't like how they responded uh, in those sudden change situations. But when we made them have to drive, we forced them to punt nine times. You know, so that's what you're supposed to do on defense. And so uh, didn't like, like how we finished at the end um, offensively and well, throughout the whole game offensively. But just uh, the, at the end wasn't, uh, you know, just kind of sort of, you know, negative, completely negative spin at the end of it. But, uh, but, uh, that's the bottom line. Very frustrated with that whole uh, response from our guys, and uh, had uh, you know challenged them with that this weekend, and and expect a, a, a different type of performance preparation-wise. That's not been the issue. It's about uh, how we're playing, and uh, you know we got to come together. We've got senior day coming up on Saturday. A special group of guys, a long list of guys that will be recognized, and and they've uh, earned the right for us to finish strong and play with the level of intensity, toughness, and passion that I know is the standard here and the expectation here. And so um, that's what I expect our guys to do and uh, continue to try and get some guys back this week. That will obviously be a focus and get some guys healthy. Um, and uh, also, you know, welcome in a, a team that's a big physical football team in Minnesota, well coached. Coach uh, Flex done a great job there. And they play hard, they play physical, and uh, they uh, – We've got a lot of discipline to their team in terms of how they play on both sides of the ball on special teams, and so a lot of respect for them and how hard they play. Do have some guys I want to recognize for the week? Uh, defensive scout, Nick Greaser. Offensive scout, Ricky Tamas and Trey Walker. And then special team scout, Asher King. So those uh, four guys continue to uh, be several guys of many that uh, working hard in practice and trying to do everything they can do to help our guys get prepared. So ready for questions at this time. Um, I guess asking just to follow up on Jack, kind of where's he at after Jack Tuttle, after yep. not being able to come back last weekend, just kind of what's his, his problem? Yeah, so just uh, continuing to rehab him, and uh, we don't know yet exactly what his status will be for Saturday, but uh, obviously trying to get him back. Obviously got injured uh, with his uh, lower leg injury. Again, uh, different foot, and uh, so trying to get him back without question. Uh, do you see any opportunity for Mike to come back before the end of the season? Uh, we're going to continue to evaluate that. Uh, I hope so, but I uh, don't know. Obviously, that window's closing with uh, each passing day, but uh, just going to have a um, meeting about that this afternoon just to kind of go through and see where we're at with him. Obviously, practice last week and see how much more he'll be able to practice this week and, and just see how, how he's feeling. I want him to feel uh, great about it and him to be 100% ready, ready to go if that's the direction we go. I'm kind of a bigger picture question mm -hmm. for you. You've always sort of preached that 1-0 and mindset and the most important game being this one because it's the next one yeah. and such. In retrospect, when you look back as to how you sort of treated the mentality of heading into this season and, you know, what have you done to win the Big Ten and stuff like that, do you um, regret that in any way or, or in keeping the focus maybe more singular than sort of big picture-ish? You know, uh, no. Uh, now, I don't, you know, when you don't get the results you want, you go back and you evaluate everything. But when I think, because I've thought that through, I've thought that through several times, because basically, um, you know, the whole objective was to elevate the next level focus slash vision of what you want, right? And so the, 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 the one game emphasis doesn't change. That, that's never changed this year. Uh, it's always been the next game is the most important game. Why? Because it's the next one, you know, and that doesn't change. Uh, but um, I've always felt since I've been here that um, our guys really didn't even believe we could win the Big Ten. You know, that's why I said I don't want you guys to break it down on Big Ten champs anymore because you don't, you're just, those are empty words. Uh, felt that way when I first got here. And uh, just by watching how everything was being done and the way that, that the guys prepared and this during the season, after, off, all that stuff. And so um, felt like that we had, you know, put ourselves in position, not, not just 2020, but even 2019, the, the changes and the, 
the, the, the different outcomes on game day and, and the places that we were able to, to get victories we hadn't had in the past, uh, at least the recent past. And so you, you talk about, okay, what's next in terms of how you see where you are when you come up with a one word chase, which I thought was a, a great one word for this season to be able to take where we were to take it to another level. Because that's what it's about, right? You don't want to be like, hey, you just, you know, we had finished second in the, in the Big Ten East last year. And, and uh, you know, as I said before, and I'll say it again, you know, you don't break it down on runners up on two. You know, you just, it's about, you know, we want to win the Big Ten. That's, that's been a program goal since I've been here. And so to be able to um, help our guys take themselves to stretch that vision to another step would be, the mindset. And so you think about the vision is where you want to be. And I was asked the question, you know, on Big Ten Media Day, you know, what's, what does greatness, we talk about chasing greatness, what does greatness look like for this group? I said, without hesitation, win the Big Ten, you know, and that's the vision. That's, that to me is what greatness is for this program. That's what we, I came here to eventually one day win the Big Ten Championship. And, and that's, that's the goal. And so to me, to be able to take a team that I believed had the, 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 the infrastructure and the talent to do so, okay, uh, that's where I, you know, put out there for our guys to be able to chase after. And, and so to me, that's, um, you know, without a vision, the people perish. You know, you, you got to have that something that stretches you. And so to me, you know, obviously, you know, we – is that the reason why we didn't perform well? You know what? I don't think so. You know, um, I mean, there's other variables involved, but at the same time, we didn't perform well. So you got to go back and evaluate. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go back in the offseason and try to figure out, you know, where we maybe missed some things, you know, but um, I don't think it was that. You know, I, I just feel like that because within that, you have individual guys. Everybody had an individual plan how they were going to chase greatness themselves. And, and obviously, as a collective group, you know, would we have been satisfied with just being, you know, um, middle of the pack or above middle of the pack? And, and uh, you know, that's not what I envisioned for this group. You know, I did envision them to be able to be at this time of the year competing for and being in the, in the hunt for a Big Ten championship. That was my vision. That was what I believed. And, and I don't go back to, oh, man, I was, you know, I missed it, missed it on that, you know. So have we played to that level? No. And so, but at the same time, I just, you know, I believed it. And, and I, uh, you know, I want our guys to see it. I want our guys to be able to understand. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't really know what you can do. And you, you limit yourself by putting caps. Everybody kind of decides what Indiana can become as a program and in the past. And, and I get it. I mean, I get the past is, is why people predict things or say things about your future. I understand that. Uh, but how do you break through that? How do you, how do you tear down those barriers and those ceilings that people place on you? And, and to me, it's, it's by having a vision casting that vision and then doing things in place to help surround yourself with people that believe in that vision and then players that believe in that vision and, and want to help you go do that. And that's, uh, you know, I met with you know, I had a recruit here this week on an official visit and, and I'm sitting there in my office and we're talking about the vision I have for us to win the Big Ten Championship. And uh, that's, uh, that's what I want. And I want guys that come here with that belief and guys that want to create that uh, uh, opportunity for both themselves and then eventually – the, the team will obviously be the beneficiary of that. So, you know, I know that's a long answer, you know, but I've thought long and hard about some of these things. And, and uh, obviously this has been very, very difficult, very challenging. And, you know, we've obviously, you know, lost a lot of guys and, and we don't, we don't look the same as we did, uh, you know, but at the same time, that's, that's part of it. And, uh, you know, you have sometimes, we didn't have a lot of injuries last year, you know, we didn't, uh, uh, but we still had some guys, you know, that, that, that were in and out. So because of those circumstances, but, you know, you just go through and, and we'll do a complete, man, I'll, I'll do a absolute um, just introspective look at every little thing we did leading up to this year from fall camp to, you know, right before the season to during the season to things in the off season and in the summertime and in the wintertime and, and same with talking to Coach Wellman and everything we're doing to try and address, hey, why we had, you know, 30 guys miss because of injuries. You know, 12, we've had, you know, 18 guys that we've, that we've lost for the season, you know, and so um, another 12 that have missed multiple games, a bunch of games and key guys. So, you know, trying to figure out why all those 30 guys have been out. But, but uh, you know, those are things that we got to look at and we'll just look at this whole program from top to bottom and, and then just make those corrections and press on.
Along those lines, Micah was asked after the game about the struggles. He brought up the injuries, and th but he did say some guys could have prepared a little bit harder at times and brought up the dedication, some maybe some dedicated sh issues during fall camp preparation. Do you think there was some unconscious relaxing or f among a few guys in this team or anything along those yeah, lines? Yeah, you know, that's something I think that's part of just the holistic evaluation. I do think one danger of having a lot of guys back um, can be maybe some of that that's not even observable, you know, at the time, you know, is maybe subtly, you know, you don't have the same, you almost kind of just, hey, you know what, this is where we are. You expect it to just, and that's, and that's why I felt like, you know, I, that's what I feared, to be honest with you, because I, I worked so hard to be like, you know what, guys, just because we got a bunch of guys back, that don't mean jack to how we're going to perform. And I, I mean, I, I said that in a lot of different ways and tried to, to really, really make it. That's one thing I do know. Because I was, I was concerned about that. You know, I, I've been a part of some teams that have had, you know, I remember this is a particular place I was at and we had a, it was just almost identical. And, and I felt like that we had some guys that just assumed, you know, and like I said, it's not that they don't work hard, but maybe it's not quite the same when you're being, you know, questioned, doubted, told you can't do this, told you can't do that. And then it just provides that little extra, you know, because that's the thing, it's, it's such a fine line at this level. I mean, just think about, you know, the whole, it's just, it's just so much minute and and that's why I felt like they just try to really you know kids don't understand that and then you can say it so but that's what I try to say it different ways and remind our coaching staff so yeah I, I think you gotta you know that that might be something that just wasn't quite the same sense of urgency maybe you know and I'm not saying that there was I'm just trying to look back and we're gonna look at everything like we said but man that's that is definitely a danger of having you know a group that's a whole bunch of guys back and expectations are a certain place at, at, at a, maybe in a, in a situation that hasn't used to that, you know. And uh, so that that's where you want to make sure that you, um, you know, fully go through and, and uh, find out if that's the case, then you got to make some make some changes. I guess kind of just sticking with this topic and this theme, are you still very much in the sort of sort of guessing phase of what could have gone wrong? I mean, is, is there anything that, that, that you're, you feel like you're close to knowing there or, or are you still in the, in the case of thinking, man, I got to, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's clear, you know, I think as you see things, but, but yeah, I don't have all the answers for that. No, not this minute as we stand here. You know, I think you'll, you know, it's always good to, to step back. You know, you're still in it. You know, you take a step back and you kind of look at it from a different perspective and evaluate everything, you know, so, but um, I wouldn't say I feel, you know, but I mean, to me, there's the obvious things. I mean, you know, you lose 30 guys. I mean, that's, that's significant. You know, that's a lot of people, you know, that, that, uh, you know, so for different in a lot of different roles, and whether it's from you know guys that are getting you ready to how that affects, just it's just a lot of individuals that uh, you know um, we expected to be part of this and are not. You know, so that's you know we we still aren't to the level as a program where we can you know absorb all those hits you know depth wise, and that's you, you, we're, we're making progress in that area without question. But to handle that many, and I don't know if I've been anywhere yet that's that's had that much depth to handle that many losses. I mean, we're, you know, honestly, right now, you're, you just take the running back room, for example, in this last week's game, you know, you got, you know, top four guys that start and start fall camp aren't there, you know. So that's, I've never been any, and I don't ever remember that happening, you know. So, but anyway, I don't want to get into all that, but I just feel like that there's definitely some things to, to go back and evaluate and, and, uh, and we will, you know, and sometimes things you, you see things and you kind of like make a little mental note and then, you, you know, when things don't go the way you want them to go, you're going to, yeah. But it will be a lot of, a lot of really deep um, evaluation without question. I got two questions. One is when you're getting rolled like you did on Saturday, on the sidelines, how do you channel your frustrations and is that, is that something that you try to be encouraging? Or, or, you know, get to yelling or, or how, how do you personally handle that in that situation? Then the second question is, how do you make sure that the culture that was so strong last year rebuilds quickly to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen next year? Sure, you know, and, and I think that, uh, um, you know, as far as the first question about this, I mean, you just got to, you know, stay composed and, and stay positive. I mean, that's that's going to be consistent regardless. Yeah, you're frustrated. I was frustrated, and I know some players are frustrated, and, and I, I don't blame them. You know, I, I, I share in that. So, uh, but, you know, when you, you're in that 
every position to who much is given, much is required. So everybody that's in those positions, which, which is all of us, everybody watches. You got to be you know, able to handle those the right way. And sometimes I get a little animated and sometimes I, you know, I'm a little more under control in those situations. But you try to, you know, stay, you know, calm in that regard. But at the same time, fiery and intense and but in a positive way. You know, if I, if I need to get after him, you get after him. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm an emotional guy, so you're not going to. You know, I don't hide things that great, you know, so but that's no big secret. But um, at the same time, you know, you don't want to be out of control. So, but I just think you just have to. And then you talk about, you know, for the future and your culture. I mean, that that's who you are, you know. I mean, there's no question. And I that, that to me hasn't, you know, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, that's a strong part of this program. It's built that over time. It didn't just happen, you know, last year. It wasn't just, you know, um, out of nowhere, it was a slow build, and and you have to, yeah, we're gonna, you know, we'll lose quite a few guys, you know, that uh, have been here for several years, and you just gotta continue that. That that foundation doesn't change, you know. Some faces are gonna change. You bring in guys that continue to fit with what you want, and uh, you know, but but that's that's part of you know going through and having you know whether we were you know, no matter what happened this year, that's gonna have to be rebuilt in regards to personnel. But at the same time. The, the outcomes, you know, it creates it, and it does, it creates a whole different feel. I have a whole different feel, you know, and in terms of just how you feel about things, which then that's why we say that's, that's really, that's got to be separated, you know, because that emotion can't affect you in a negative way. And just like it can't affect you in a positive way, it's, it's, not, it's not those things don't, you don't make decisions off of those things. It's all about these are concrete things that we believe in. This is who we are. You recruit to that. You develop to that. You stay to that. You don't waver from that. And that to me is going to be, yeah, is it tested? Sure it is. I mean, that's called, that's why, you know, when you talk about you can't have a testimony, which is a verbal, you know, way to articulate, man, this is how we were able to do this. And I can talk about it. You know, you have testimonial. Well, you have to have a test to create that opportunity for those testimonies that people can say about your program. So we're going through that right now. It's been very difficult and challenging. So, uh, but from my experience, the, the, the places that have great foundations, they get stronger because of these types of opportunities to, to grow and to learn. And I expect this program to continue to grow and learn and, and uh, be stronger in the future because of it. And that's what I expect. And, 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 and myself as a leader is, is the one that has to, you know, be the person out front and being the, the catalyst for that type of future growth and improvement. Coach, with everything you've mentioned, the challenges before you, and what is the, the lack or maybe a lack of complete uh, intensity of recently, you have the game coming up. How do you get them to play to win, to yeah. play with what is needed to get done? Because obviously it hasn't been there, and that is beyond a challenge, especially when the losing is there, and then mm -hmm. you have to go on the road after that to a, uh, a rivalry game against Purdue on the road, which is going to be presenting even more challenge. How, how do you really get these guys to do what they need to do to play to win? Yeah, so the, the goal is this week to be able to come together, and, and uh, um, you know, we understand that, that uh, this is a special week. You know, this is a senior class that's um, – and it's, it's a unique senior class because you've got – you got super seniors from previous year. You got uh, so it's a really large group of guys, and so you got guys within there that have, they, you know, used up their eligibility. You got guys that, that that have maybe one year left, and they're trying to decide what to do, and everything in between, you know. And so, um, but it is for the seniors. I mean, no matter how you slice it, it's our senior day. And so, to me, it's a special group of guys. There's a lot of people in that group that uh, um, have sacrificed a lot, given a lot to this program and helped us be where we are today and build what we've built to, to this point. And so to me, that's about, um, you know, preparing for them, playing for them, uh, coming together for them. And, and that's been the charge and the challenge and, and, and talk with our leadership guys last night about this. And, and it's going to be the focus, you know, and to me, that's, that's really what this is about is how we finish uh, the right way the last home game for this special group of guys. And so uh, that, but that is the challenge, you know, to be able to put aside and to block out and to um, get all the, the negativity of, of the past few weeks and come together and, and uh, play our best football, you know, and, and that's what uh, we expect to do, we expect them to come in tomorrow morning and, and have a focus and an energy and an intensity, you know, led, led by our coaching staff and myself at the front uh, to be able to create that. And that's, to me, that's, that's the expectation, and that's what we're going to have to be able to do. And, yeah, is that easy? No, sure it's not. So, uh, but 
that's where you once again fall back on the guys here, and we just got to be able to, um, you know, do a great job of blocking out things and just focusing on one objective, which is to be able to have our best week of preparation so we can play our best football on Saturday against a really good Minnesota football team. And then, then when you finish that, you go do it again one last time with this group. I guess I was going to kind of follow up on that with senior day. I mean, like, is, is there any delineation for guys who have already said, I want, to, I want to use the year, I want to use the COVID year, or do you just kind of let everybody go through it and then sort of sort it out at the back? Yes, I, I would say we're kind of taking more of the approach of just take, take everybody through it, and then you kind of – because there'll be, there'll be quite a few guys that, that I, I believe will go ahead and go through – the, the ceremony and, and then still probably come back and play, you know, another year or so. Cause you just don't, sometimes you're not ready to have those conversations yet. You know, the season's not over, uh, but it is unique. I mean, there's always a little bit of that in some ways with a, a guy, if he's going to decide to, you know, come back or not, but no, we've never in the history of our game have we had this number because of the COVID situation that we all went through and everybody got an additional year. So, and, and obviously those guys were all on the team last year. So therefore they would all get, that additional year, so that's kind of where it's unique. And like I said, but then then you do have the super senior group that they've they are done. They've exhausted their years, you know. So and that's, that's you know there's several of those. So yeah, there'll be more of those than normal, without question. So we just kind of approach it for them. We kind of it was individual. We talked to every single guy and give them a chance to go through and make that decision. So, but uh, yeah, regardless, like I said, it's a special group of guys. No matter whether this is they're officially their last time or not, but they're all part of a group that came here, uh, believed in what we were, uh, you know building before we actually did it and so always will be a very very special group to me uh coach you had mentioned earlier just about replenishing uh, the team re replacing that personnel as especially this year as people graduate and move on as their eligibility is done is the focus going to be more this year on bringing in high school recruits again or are you guys going to hit the transfer portal hard this off season as well well, the, the the primary group will be the high school group, you know, and we've got 14 of those guys committed right now. And we expect those 14 guys to sign with us on December 15th, and and may add to that between now and then. And so, but then we'll we'll utilize the the, the transfer portal or the however you, whatever you want to call it, the guys that choose to 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 go somewhere else, and and it gives you a chance to to be able to give you some some experience guys that come in with uh, have already played college football. Um, and that would be the case with most of those guys. I guess you could technically have a freshman that didn't play much this year, but but th that comes in from another place. But yeah, that the the core will be high school, and then we'll continue to evaluate, meet needs, and and find guys that fit with us and want to come here and help us keep building this program. Awesome. Have a great day, Elio.